So for this year, for NaNoWriMo, I used Ulysses as my word processor. It's about £30 on the App Store and, oh, totally worth it. I'm going to go through the bits and bobs of Ulysses and show you what's what, and then I'm going to show you how specifically it works really well for novel writing, but I also use it for blogs as well. So, when you open Ulysses, it's a little bit different than how you usually work, I suppose. Um, with Word, you obviously have that one file, whereas with this, you have what are called sheets, and your sheets go into this section here. So I'll show you my NaNoWriMo project. All of these sheets are different chapters. And it goes on and on and on, and it's very fluid. You can move them all around, and it works really, really well for novel writing. So when you are full screen, this is control and three, you know you've got completely distraction free writing control and two shows you sheets and control and one shows you everything so in your inbox you can add a new group which is sort of a new document so you can call it whatever you fancy and also change the icon and make it easy for you to find you can also add your own goals so most of the time for young adult i would aim for sixty thousand words and then as you add more to it, the circle gets more full. So for the novel itself, for my NaNoWriMo project, this happened, which is cool. So let's add some sheets into the new novel. So we can have blah for one scene or for one chapter, whatever you fancy, and another. Cool. So these are all fluid, you can move them around as sometimes things happen. It's very simple also to label them as chapters, so if you do Alt and 3 on a Mac you get a hash, so you can call that chapter 1, and that will be bold up here. Uh, you could do the same for the rest. etc. The reason that we do it in this sort of format is because it's not a pro it's not a traditional word processor like Word where things happen as you see them. This is what's called markdown. So you have control and I for italics, control and B for bold. Anyway, my favourite feature of Ulysses for novel writing is you can filter things out through keywords. So in my NaNoWriMo novel, this is it in its entirety. And then I have the keywords of my two viewpoint characters, so I can filter down to just Maddie's chapters or just Theo's chapters. Or see the whole thing together. And the way that you set that up is in your group, you add a new filter. So you put, say, Bob, and change it to a keyword, and then Bob. And then say so you add another character called Jane. And you can give them separate icons as well, which is kind of cool. So in your new novel, if you right click on the sheet, if that's a scene from Jane's point of view, then you can add a keyword, Jane. Awesome. If the second chapter is from Jane, you can write Jane. Awesome. If the third chapter is from Bob, you can give Bob one as well. <laughs> and then you can filter them out like that really simply. So is this something I've always struggled with? When you're in a massive Word document and you're trying to edit just one person's viewpoint, you end up scrolling past loads of things and missing things and it all gets a little bit confusing. This is a really, really helpful way to get everything organised in the first draft stages. Also, another feature that I really like, particularly if you finish your work for the day and you, you, you're you in the middle of editing something or you want to you know, get and hit the ground running the next day, if at the top of these documents you do the percentage key twice, you can write yourself a note. That's cool. And then what that happens is um, it appears at the top, but it's not part of your word count at all. 
So these are just little things that won't show up in the actual document when you're finished. And you can just use these to add in a little bit more guidance to yourself as you're working. You know, when you've got a document that's three sheets long, you might think that that isn't necessary. But when you do look at sort of a full novel sized one, you know, you have different descriptions for each of the chapters. And then you can find where you are really easily in the document. I loved it. It made NaNoWriMo so much easier for me. So that leads me to other cool things. This bit in the middle is what's called typewriter view. You can have that as off and just do it like a normal Word document, or you can lock it to the top, the center, the bottom. I like the center. Uh, that way it will always lock to the center of the screen so you don't have to scroll up and down I like that I also really like dark view which is what we're in now you can change that to just normal out blinding white or something in the middle but yeah I'm dark mode for the win so you've written everything that you need to do you've organized it um, this is the software I'm going to use now on from first draft, second draft, third draft stages. The only time I'm going to actually export from Ulysses is when it needs to be in a Word document and then we're down to the nitty gritty line edits and things. Once the order of the chapters and everything is set, then I can export. Until then, this is just the best way ever to work because it's cloud based, so you don't have to worry about saving it. I've never had an issue about losing any saves, but you can export every day if you want to as a hard copy and it syncs instantly to your iPad. So I can view and edit when I'm on the train, sync it, and then it appears here again. It's like what pages should have been, but 10 times better. So when it does come to sharing, you have tons of options. You have your documents, PDFs, EPUB, HTML, text. I go for documents. And then you can choose different um, presets. My favorite one is Simple Novel and then you can preview it before it goes. And then it, see, it turns into a lovely normal document. I'll show you on the big document. I'm an NaNoWriMo project. Da 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 da. And then from your Word document, you can open that in Word and tweak everything as you go. But yes, I love this for writing because you can do it in full screen and this is all distraction free. Yeah.